All right, here are solutions for our midterm for Math 105, even though it says final exam. It was not. It was a midterm. Um, and so I'll go through and detail the solutions. I figured rather than write a whole bunch of notes on each of your midterms individually, I just kind of mark where you got something wrong, and then you can watch this video if you're curious about what you did wrong or what you should have done differently. Um, and I figured I'd pull up a calculator as well, because I know for some people just entering stuff into a calculator, especially later on with the finance stuff, can be a little bit of a challenge. So without further ado, first problem, Venn diagram. Uh, I guess the biggest challenge here, something that a few of you ran into, is just understanding what this all means. Like this five right here does not mean that five kids played football. It means that five kids played only football. All of the numbers in this circle right here represent kids that played football. So five plus two plus eight plus 14. 29, I think that ends up being. All those kids played football. These five played only football, not baseball or hockey. Anyways, we got 100 kids total this information, and we're asked a bunch of questions. First one, how many kids played football and baseball, but not ice hockey? Okay, so they played in this circle and in this circle, but they are not in this circle right here. Well, what a lot of people did is they looked and they saw this, in, they saw 14 in the intersection and eight in the intersection. And that's true, that's the intersection between football and baseball, but the eight also played hockey. So we don't want the eight, we only want the 14. There were 14 kids that satisfy this criteria. I don't know how you show your work here. Some people drew arrows. Some tried to add and subtract numbers. Whatever. I'll just write 14. Uh, next question. How many kids played baseball but not football? This is a little bit tricky because there's no mention of ice hockey. So we don't have any restriction on whether or not they played hockey. I don't care if they did. All I care is that they played baseball and they did not play football. So baseball are all of these kids. These four different numbers all represent kids that played baseball. However... The 14 and the 8 played football as well. So baseball, but not football, would be this 20 and this 5. 20 representing the kids that only played baseball, and 5 representing the kids that played baseball and hockey, because they didn't play football, um, 25 being the final answer. How many kids played football or baseball, but not both? That one's a little tricky also. Here's football, this circle right here. Here's baseball, this circle right here. But we don't want the intersection. So we don't want these guys here. What a lot of people did is they said 5 plus 20, which makes, which is right. I mean, these five did play football, and they did not play baseball, or they did not play both football and baseball. Um, so you do want to include them in your answer, but you all want to include this two right here, for example. These two kids played football and hockey. So therefore, they're playing one of football or baseball, not both. There's no restriction on hockey. So what I actually want for this answer is the 5 plus the 2, this 5, this 2, plus 20, plus 5. That's this 20 and this 5. You sum up all those numbers, you get 32. Those are the kids that play a football or baseball, but not both sports. How many kids played exactly two sports? Well, let's see. This 5 are the kids that played only football. Similarly, these kids played only baseball, and these are only ice hockey. So I don't want them in the, my answer because those three groups of kids only played one sport. This group of eight in the middle here played all three sports. That falls into all three of the circles. So I don't want them in my answer either. However, this two, this 14, and this five all represent kids that played two sports. These two kids played football and hockey. These 14 kids played football and baseball. And these five kids played baseball and hockey. So if I add up two plus 14 plus five, I get 21, which is the number of kids that play two sports. Finally, almost finally, how many kids played more than one sport? Well, I think the easiest way to do that is we know how many kids played two sports. 21. We just figured that out in part D. So if you played more than one sport, that means either you played two sports or you played three sports. 21, 21 kids played two sports. What about three sports? Well, only these eight kids right here played all three sports. So 21 plus 8 gives me the 29. Other ways you could figure out this number, um, I saw several different answers, correct answers, different methods of getting there. And they're all great. Lots of different ways you can do it. Here's one. Finally, how many kids did not play any sports? For this one, you got to be a little bit clever. you got to notice that there's 100 kids total. It's not anywhere in this picture that there's 100 kids total. So you got 100 kids. And then to figure out how many played sports, how many of the 100 you do not want to include in your answer, you go up to your picture. And you say, well, that's any of these kids. It's the 5 or the 14 or the 20 or the 2 or the 8 or the 5 or the 16. I want to take away all of those from the 100. 
So from the 100, I want to take away all of these kids. Um, guess I'll just start listing them. 5, 14, 20, what else do I got? 285, 16. You add up all these numbers with the help of a calculator or by in your head if you want to do it that way. Let's see, that's 39, 41, 49, and 21 more. It's 70, 100 minus 70. Looks like 30. So we got 30 kids. Um, in order for these videos to not go on forever, I'm going to end this one here and make a new one for problem two.